Got a beautiful line of Rolls Royces here. I like this one's got the uh, high gloss silver, and this one's got a matte. Oh, no, it's not even matte. Whoa, it's brushed, brushed silver. That's something I have not seen before. Let's see if I can get this to properly convey across. I'm using the 50 mil today, the Nifty 50. I didn't even bring my standard lens because I want to get used to using this one and see what its capacities are. Maybe not the best choice, but like I should have brought the other one anyhow, but whatever. Get what I get, I guess. That's so cool. Didn't even know there was an option. I mean, I guess it's a Rolls Royce. Everything's an option. The uh, accent piece, rather than just being a different color, is brushed aluminum. I have never seen that before on a vehicle. Brushed aluminum. Brushed aluminum. There we go. That's really cool to see that as an option. Huh. Alright. Ooh. There's an I-8. I'm really getting the sense that this is a very, uh, it's a very long shooting lens. Like, I have to be very far away. So, I'll have to keep that in mind for whatever capacity I choose to use this in. Expecting some pretty great results, so it might be worth it. Uh, it's a pretty standard color for these, as I understand. A lot of the ones I've seen have been in this color. Alright, what do we got over here? A lot of these, uh, this AMG and this McLaren are almost the same finish, which is interesting. This is also interesting, because I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's giving off more of a green than a gray. We got a milky, I call these milky colors because I don't know what else to call them. Milky gray with black. It's very interesting, very menacing. But uh, before I get too ahead of myself, I did want to check out back here, not the Mustang, though it's cool. I want to look at this rolls. That's interesting. It's almost like an army green. I don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, I guess you can't go wrong with a rolls, right? So like this shot, I'm like only getting from the tire forward. Like I really have to stand very far away to get shots. And in a packed parking lot like this, that is just not a viable option. Unless I go get creative here. Mm, that might be okay. I'll have to see though. Okay, behind us, it's a beautiful R8. I love the design of these new ones, the front ends. Very nice. Let's see how much of this I can fit here. decent oh, oh man it's such a nice day out it's usually a million degrees but today i think it's literally only in the 70s right now which is insane because it's august in north carolina so that's an accomplishment all right you've got your uh, line of purses that's a stunning color that's gonna make a great picture i believe Wow, <laughs> look at that color. That is the brightest GT I've ever seen in my life. And actually, I have to back up to get this whole thing in the picture, but I do quite enjoy that spec, to be honest. If I'm gonna get a car that costs this much money, I want to stand out. Like, I want people to look at me and be like, wow, that's, uh, that's a choice that, that he made. And I, oh man, I love the blue behind it. 
I want to say that's Fistral Blue, which is my favorite blue. Could be Miami Blue, but I think it's McLaren's uh, Fistral Man. I don't know if I can get this whole thing in a shot with the... Uh, yeah, I'm really learning now the, uh, the limitations of this lens. Really quite significant. Um, I guess... Because I just got this lens, so I don't really know what the ideal usage is. But uh, I'm, as I'm learning right now, live, it seems to be the ideal usage would be on a private shoot with a lot of space. Not necessarily at a car show or um, associated event. Just because you really need to have a decent amount of space to shoot. But, wow. <laughs> the mashup of those two colors. I'm just gonna get the nose ends on those. Change around my focus point a little bit. Um, this is a fixed, fixed aperture lens, meaning it doesn't zoom. So get good shots you really have to get creative all right now the oranges I'm getting used to I mean I know we can see here there are five such same color oranges all uh, oh there's a sixth one down there too so you know I tend to like the things that are more unique than less um, for example this beauty what an interesting racing line on this Ferrari. Is that golden blue or golden black? Uh, I'm gonna say golden black. It's very interesting but again getting ahead of ourselves I do want to shoot this thing because this thing has some gnarly lines on it. See it's got the racing lines and the mirror has some lines and then under the wing has some lines that I'm gonna try to capture. This would be a car I wish I could have, like, pulled out and brought to a location for me to shoot. Uh, that's obviously not going to happen, but it would be cool if it did. One of the more uniquely specced 600 LTs. No wonder I didn't see it it's next to these two. It blends in, but, uh... I really wish I brought my other lens now. I know I wanted to challenge myself and see the limitations of the 50, but oh well. I'll have to make do with what I got. Um, well, since I can't zoom, I can get close-ups relatively easily just by going closer to the vehicle. Hopefully one of those came out pretty well. Alright, we are going to check out those Ferraris. Eventually. Um, yeah, these are very orange. I don't love this orange, to be honest. I think it's a bit too... I don't know, it's just, it's just not my thing. It's bright, and I said I like bright. We already established that, but I don't know. Just the shade is not right for me. This is when I jokingly tell people, "Oh yeah, this is why I'm not buying a McLaren. I just can't find the right color." You know, it's nothing to do with finances. Just don't like the colors. You know, no, yeah, I could wrap it, but no, I just I'd rather you know find the right color. But I just can't find it. That's why I don't own an exotic car. Just can't find the right color. All right. Um, although, honestly, if that was the only reason, I'd be buying this today, because that's 
This was here last time. I don't know why no one's buying it. There must be some mechanical issues with it. I mean, it is a McLaren after all, but... Oh, that is a... That is a spec. I'm gonna see what I can do here with the lighting not being ideal. Nor is my framing. Oh, you know what? I've literally just remembered I have a circular polarizing filter on my camera. Which means I can cut some of the lighting. I wish that I have that. I mean, like I said, I just got this lens. And when I bought it, it didn't come with a CPL. Um, I bought the CPL separately. And I just never remember that I have it on here. I literally still can't get the entire vehicle. That's how zoomied this lens is. I don't know if I'll be able to with these uh, McLarens. I mean, I made a McLaren dealership, but still. Yeah, that's about the best I'm gonna do, and it's not even the whole car, so. It's unfortunate. It's way, way the wrong lens for this. But, you live and you learn. I hate this color chalk. That's what it reminds me of, sidewalk chalk. Now, there's an angle I can manage. Let me adjust my CPL that I just remembered. Alright, um, this blue is intriguing, but not really my thing. This purple is really nice. Actually, they just posted on Instagram about this car not too long ago. Menacing. Ooh, gotta back up even even further. There we go. Oh cool. I can get the whole car in a shot. Surprise. I didn't even see that blue GT over there. Gonna have to check that out. This is, as I'm learning, this is not a fantastic CPL. It covers a very small portion of what I would like it to do. Alright, let's go check out some rolls. This is a nice colon in a matte black, that's really interesting. How you doing? Peek in the shop here. I won't go in because I'm not allowed to, but... Wow, look at that. Mint green GT3. That's beautiful. Alright, so they got a few Colonins. They have a purple one too, which is really interesting. I'm gonna try to get this black one. Now, I don't really know what the deal is, but... Mercedes and Rolls Royce especially, when you take pictures, and you might see it on the video too, the windows come out purple or blue, like flat out. Like, not even like slightly tinted, no, like flat out purple or blue. I don't really know why, it must be some filament or something that's in the, it's in the glass, I guess, but it's just a weird observation. Oh, that's a nice shot. You did quite enjoy that. Wow, look at those rims. Don't know what I think about that. Gotta say, as, as much as I'm limited by this lens, I am quite excited to see what the results are once I get them loaded up into my iPad and start editing. Oh my goodness, look at these rims. I actually don't mind that. That's actually kind of sick. Ooh. I don't know what they call those. Let's see if I can't grab some sort of picture. Mm. It's all about the angles. I'll 
see. That might work. Wow. Yeah. What a what a thing that is. All right. Now I saw this when I pulled in. I think I've seen this one before. Very interesting color choice. The interior is all white with some yellow. The steering wheel is really cool, actually. I like it. I like it. You know. We were just talking about me liking things that aren't like boring and professional, black and white and gray. I like the flashy standout things. Not a huge fan of the shade of yellow, but I like the concept. Steering wheel is really cool. If you can see it with the reflection, I don't know if you can, but that's pretty sick. What's that? It's a Huracan. All right. Um, Oh, it's a Maybach. Look at that. Now, let's look at this for over here. Let's see if I can't get me a decent shot of this. Man, I need a different CPL. One that covers a wider wavelength swath of the vehicle. <sighs> yeah, very interesting. Not every day uh, you see something this bold on a Ferrari. After all, Ferraris are quite notoriously against their owners being bold with the designs. Speaking about Dead Mouse, if you don't know. Huh. It's a uh, fake carbon fiber. Or, well, it feels fake. That's why I felt it, because you can normally tell. It feels like plastic. Some carbon fiber, though, does feel like plastic, so it can be hard to tell. This might be legit. Actually, this this one looks more legit than this one. Oh, yeah, I think this is plastic and this is real. Yeah, you can even hear the difference. Interesting. That's just my take, though. I'm not an expert. Fan, not an expert. I don't know if I can get a picture of this because I'm so close. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll take one, but it's not going to do it justice. Alright, this green reminds me very much of Verde Mantis, which is a Lamborghini color, I believe. I uh, know someone who will correct me if I'm wrong. It is uh, quite nice. It's a stunning color. I mean, so I would be a fan of it, I guess, following my uh, standard fandom requirements for car colors. Alright. This GTR is... I don't know. Not really my thing. Not the car. The car is definitely my thing. The wrap? Eh. Again, I just don't love that shade of gold. Which I know, I know. It's not my car. You know, as long as the guy who wrapped it enjoys it, that's all that matters. But if uh, if it was up to me, I, I might have even gone for the same wrap. I just would have changed the colors. Let's see how those turn out. All right, we're going to get to this GT3. But first, I neglected to show you, well, two things. One is this beautiful 720 right here. I love this color. Uh, do I like it more than this color? Uh, no. I think I'd rather have that color over this color, but I'd rather have that color of that GT over the two of them, so you know. The other thing was, uh, so these G-Wagons, I mean, this one is wrapped, I believe. I don't think it's factory. It could be, because there's another one down there that looks at pretty much like Maybe it is. Maybe it is factory. Oh, you know what? Uh, is that a seam? That might be a seam. You know, it might be a factory wrap. Which is, uh, which I understand is a thing. Oh, so hard to tell. There's, from what I can tell, there are seams, which means it's a wrap. But it is so well done. So well done. Yeah. Right there, you can see that is a seam. So it is a wrap, but whether it's factory or not, I do not know. 
I'm leaning towards thinking it is factory though, because like I said, it's the exact same spec as that one down there. I think those these two vehicles are the exact same vehicles. Let's take a look at that one. And then I'll have to take pictures of this and that. Yeah, they look identical. And again, yep, you can see that's a seam. It is a seam, yeah. So it's very, very, very well done. I'm gonna have to look this up when I get home. But I'm thinking it's a factory wrap. Very nice. 10 out of 10. I would for sure get that wrap, actually. If I could pay any G-Wagon here, it would definitely be that one. Or one of the two, you know, whichever. Again, with the blue windshield, I'm gonna... It's always Mercedes and Rolls that give off either a blue or purple windshield. Don't know why. They gotta be like that, though. Alright, about wrapping up here. I do have to touch on a few other things, but then we'll be good to go. This is my first time, like I said, oh, I didn't say it on camera. This is my first time rocking the uh, GoPro on top of the camera setup. I've never done this before, so I'll be interested to see if it's a viable way to film. If the footage comes out all right, I'll probably not even edit this. I'll probably just throw it right up on YouTube. I like my I like my videos to be vlog style, but I just don't have the time to vlog. Because when I'm at shows like even dealerships, I like I'm not in a vlogging mood, I'm in a let's take pictures mood. Because I get paid to take pictures, so you know it's that's my main interest is to take pictures and even if I'm not being paid for the pictures I'm taking, I'm gaining experience and I'm adding vehicles to my resume. They've started up that Mint GT3, and I'd very much like them to pull it out, because I want to see it in the sunlight. I don't know if they're going to do that. I know it's it's quite often that when you're working on a vehicle, you start it for various reasons, so it could be that they're not bringing it out, but I'll keep an eye on that. Alright, what else? Uh, we got this Mercedes back here. Don't know what kind it is. I'm still learning my Mercedes models. Uh, I was never really a Mercedes fan, to be honest. I mean, I liked AMGs, but I was never really GT53. Sweet. Uh, I was never really into Mercedes until I met my current boss, who owns Mercedes, and a whole bunch of them. So, that's that. Eh, I might as well grab a picture. Oh, they're backing that up, which means they're probably going to bring it out. So I should uh, get on down there and get some dope shots of it coming out of that garage there. Beautiful. You know what color it reminds me of though, unfortunately? The uh, medical masks. That's the, <laughs> that's the that's the color. Medical mask green. Alright. What else were we gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna get this Mercedes out here. That might be good enough. I think that's everything. I think we pretty much covered it all. Um, I know there was a GT I didn't see upon arrival that we'll check out before we leave, but I think that'll pretty much be this video. Again, hopefully it comes out all right. Um, I don't know what the image stabilization is like on this thing. Again, this is a new camera to me. It's not even my camera. I'm borrowing it from my boss. So. 
I'm new to GoPro. Actually, I'm new to filming in general. I usually just take the pictures. So, but I've been trying to decide what direction I want my channel to go, my YouTube channel. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I, I want to do vlog style, but I feel like when I'm taking pictures of cars, I'm not really in the vlogging kind of mood because I'm taking pictures of cars. So that's where this setup becomes quite ideal, actually. And I think I can get away quite nicely with filming and talking while taking pictures, giving my commentary. It's kind of like a vlog. Except you're not seeing me, you're seeing cool cars the whole time. So, if y'all like it, obviously there's a button that you can hit under the video somewhere to let me know that you liked it. I think it's aptly named the like button. And uh, yeah, let's see, see how I continue doing this. That's my favorite spec of the Tundras. If I could have any Tundra, not that color probably. Actually, trucks are the only place where I'd probably actually go for a blander color. But the 1794 edition specifically is the Tundra I would take. Though it is not my choice truck because my choice truck is the F-250 Baja. And my second choice truck is the F-150 Raptor. So... Alright, gonna try not to get run over. It's always a plus. And I think that's a wrap. So, this is the only time I'll do the vlog thing, but thank you much for tuning in, and uh, you'll probably see more videos like this.